Well, welcome back. I hope we all had a safe and Merry Christmas. Uh, this Christmas was pretty memorable for my family. We actually held it here in the boat studio. Uh, my little granddaughters really enjoyed playing inside of the boat. So if you remember from last episode, we got the shear clamps all steamed and in and fastened to the side of the boat. So today on the Otter Boat Building, we're gonna put in the breast hook and the deck beam. Uh, to get started with the breast hook, I made a pattern here out of some uh, thin plywood. And in order to get these angles, I basically just set the plywood up on top here, traced the outside of the hull, and then I adjusted the um, width of it so that it fit in here neatly up against the stem. So what I need to do now is to determine what these angles are here. If I take my gauge, and mark that. So now that I have this, I can mark this here. And that is the port side. And then do the same thing here on the starboard side. It looks like it's the same angle. And then the last thing we need to do is measure here at the stem. And once we have that angle determined, and then we can lay that out here and mark this the stem. So now that we have our pattern made, we can go lay this out on a piece of finished stock. Now typically, uh, this breast hook would probably be made out of mahogany. Um, I don't have any mahogany available, but I do have an immense amount of walnut. So I'm going to use this piece of walnut here that should fit nicely as my breast hook. So I found a piece of wood here that is wide enough that when I cut the angle here at the stem that I'll have enough, a little extra material here. So what I need to do is to flip this over because this, at the bottom of this, I know fits in there perfectly. And then I'll be able to cut this on that angle going out like that. So I'm gonna do is mark that out and then cut it over at the bandsaw.
now that the breast hook is in, we can uh, get started on the deck beams. Well, as I had mentioned in the last video, the deck beams are to be 5 eighths and an inch thick by one and a quarter and made out of white oak. In addition, it says that it needs to be a one and a half inch crown in five feet, which if you remember, we've already made a template for that. And then it says in order to fasten the deck beams to the shear clamp, you need to use a 10 32nd three inch bolt. So as you can see, I've got the first three deck beams in. Now one of the issues here is that you can see that this deck beam meets the hull at a pretty oblique angle. So what I need to do is to figure out what, that, what those two angles are on the end of that. So let me show you how I did that. As it says in the plans that the beam needs to be lined up on the aft side of the frames. So what I do is I take and mark an angle on the bottom, that's the angle of the hull, and then I take a straight edge like this and line it up with the hull, like so, and make a mark. So now with these two marks, I'll be able to figure out what angles to set the compound miter at. So this angle, if I put my protractor on here and measure it, it comes out to 21 degrees. And then this one is 20 degrees. To determine the other side, I first take a square and square off the shear clamp and make a little dent there, right next to the frame, and then make a little mark there. And then taking my square and siding down the length of that to that mark, then I know that that's where the bottom of the um, board needs to be. So I know that it needs to angle this way and this way, which should be the same amount. Now, as I had said, that they should be the same angle, except I need to turn this one the opposite direction. I'm going to cut this a little bit long and nib off a little bit until I get the exact length. Well, it fits pretty good. I just made a couple of 16th inch cuts each time in order to make sure that it fit right. Uh, so now that I have that in there, uh, I need to make sure that the bottom of it seats properly on the shear clamp. So I'll need to chisel a little bit out of the shear clamp in order for that to seat in there properly. So first thing I'm going to do is to mark each side. Well, now that I've got that all seated in there properly, uh, what I need to do is to mark the ends of each side so that I know where to start that arc. Now, some of you might have noticed this kind of funny shaped uh, plank I have here. I did that, I kind of predetermined that so that I'd be able to get uh, two deck beams out of the length of white oak that I had.
All right, now that we've got this all uh, sanded and finished, we can drill some holes and bolt that on. First thing I'm going to do is to put a 3 8 inch counter bore in here so that the head won't stick up above the beam. I'm going to use these uh, temporary bolts to bolt it together right now. I have some brass uh, bolts ordered. Uh, I'm going to need to disassemble all this anyway in order to put the bilge paint on there. Now we've got that one done, uh, two more, six in total, and we'll be finished with the beams. That's it for the last of the deck beams. Now you'll notice that it's flat on the bottom. Uh, this deck beam also is where the bulkhead goes. So the bulkhead will be attached to this. In addition, it being a little thicker here in the middle, because there will be the bracket that will hold the mast on will be attached at that point. Now in addition, it's thicker than the other deck beams. Uh, it's about an inch as opposed to the five eighths of the other ones. So the next thing that we need to do is to create a lodging knee. The lodging knee will come from the side of the boat up to this deck beam. Now in addition, it's going to be curved and that curve will also create the curve of the combing that will surround the cockpit. So the next step is to make a pattern for that lodging knee. Uh, to get started with our lodging knee pattern, I've laid a thin piece of plywood in here. Uh, and to locate this batten that I've put on here, from, according to the plans, uh, from the center line, we come back 18 inches. Now, in addition, the, begin the combing ends up at frame six in the center here. So I've clamped it in the center and frame six, and then clamped it here at 18 inches, and it finishes right before frame 11, which is right here. So I've measured over exactly the amount that the shear clamp is. So now what I need to do is just simply mark that out. And I'll also mark here against the shear clamp where it will land. Now in addition to making this pattern here for the port side, I'll also make a pattern for the starboard side just in case there's a little variance from side to side.
Well, that's it for the lodging knees and the deck beams. Uh, this type of joinery is really rewarding to me, and it's really nice to see the boat taking shape. I want to thank all the patrons. Without your support, this would not be possible, and I really, really appreciate it. So next episode, we'll be working on the aft deck and some of the floorboards. So I'll see you the next time on the Art of Boat Building. Mm -hmm.